Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cancer Zappers by Abba. If this is your first time on this channel, you're most welcome. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on this button right here. And while you're at it, don't forget to click on the notification bell because that will let you know when I have more videos. Who is this channel for? Well, whether you're a student, a resident, a referring physician, a physicist yourself, or perhaps just a tech geek like me, this is definitely the channel for you. In the previous video, I talked about how it's important to image the patient before we treat them. In showing that video, I also talked about how it's possible that the tumor moves while the patient breathes. In so doing, it's very difficult to target simply the tumor and spare normal tissue. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a technique that helps to compensate for some of that. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Definitely like, share, and comment. What is 4DCT as opposed to, say, 3DCT? Well, 4DCT is 3DCT but with an added fourth dimension of time. It is a technique of imaging a patient in a way that different parts of your breathing cycle are captured. In 4D CT, we try to capture what the insides of your body look like at the different phases of breathing, just so that we have a good idea of how the tumor is moving at different points in your breathing, compared to just getting a fuzzy image because it's moving a lot. So imagine our patient Starbuck on the CT table who we are getting ready to image. We happily place a blanket on Starbuck because she is cold. Starbuck breathes in and as we see our graph is getting plotted based on how much her chest moves up or down versus time. As she breathes out notice the graph trending back down. Another cycle begins as she breathes in again. Notice how the plot trends up. Another cycle occurs as she continues to breathe in and out. At specific points of Starbucks breathing cycle, a CT is taken. For example, a CT is taken when she has breathed in just a little bit, then a little more and more, and then at her full breath in. As she breathes out, a CT is taken when she breathes out a little, then more and more until she has let out nearly all her breath. So that's why we see these images on the different parts of her breathing cycle. Remember, every time we take a CT, we are imaging only a small portion of her body, a few slices. In order to image a longer section, we have to CT Starbuck over a range of couch positions and then combine the CT images to obtain a larger volume. At each couch position, CT images are obtained a longer breathing cycle as already demonstrated. Then the images captured in the same parts of her breathing cycle are grouped together for different couch positions. This way, we get to see how an entire volume of her insides moves with time. <laughs> 